So, hey there, haunters. Um, my first haunted house of the season this year. And uh, we're here in Oklahoma, in Randallette, Oklahoma, for the volunteer. I'm assuming, is it volunteer? Yeah, the volunteer fire department here is putting on a haunted house. Uh, we've already got our tickets. We're waiting. Uh, instead of just sending people in as they come, they build up a big group of uh, people. That way, whenever the actors get ready, they can be re like going for a constant scare. They don't have to wait hours between groups, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like that concept. So we're just we're just hanging out waiting on uh, more people to show up and then they're gonna let us in and uh, I've asked if I could film they said that I would have to talk to the chief of the fire station and ask him uh, so I don't really know where he is so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film inside probably not but we'll find out all right see you guys alrighty so hey there guys um, as you can tell I'm in makeup I have this prosthetic here and two up here for arched eyebrows. Kind of screwed that one up. You can still I put it up too high. And, uh, you can see my eyebrow. Uh, but I covered it in makeup so you really can't, can't tell uh, that bad. You just think it's part of this blood right here. Um, the black stuff is zombie blood and then I did put a little bit of regular blood. Um, I started out with some zombie blood, the black stuff, in my teeth. That didn't work out too well. Uh, yeah, and then I tried to do some stuff over here with liquid latex. It didn't really work out too well, but that one looks cool. Uh, what this is, is a, uh, like it's almost like a temporary tattoo. Um, it comes out on this piece of plastic. You transfer it to this, like, water paper, and, uh you apply it like a temporary tattoo. And that part's really cool. Uh, it's very easy to put on. The reason why I'm in costume tonight uh, is because the bar that I volunteer at, we did our Halloween party tonight. Um, and I thought that was really fun. Um, pretty cool costumes came out. There's actually some clips that I took on Snapchat. Uh, I'm gonna insert those here in a second. Uh, well, Probably now. Hey, hey, right? Talk about it normally does, but you know what? Y'all know, like, you've lost. You've been there for like six, seven years, but you just have to Like, calm the fuck down. Just exactly what you said. Yeah, so that was that was the clips uh, from tonight. It was really cool. I uh, had a great time. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know whenever I go to take these off if they're just gonna rip. Uh, I hope not because uh, I would do want to try to reuse them uh, for Halloween. Uh, but I'm gonna have to be really careful taking them off. So we'll see. Uh, the makeup didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. Uh, I do have like an $80 palette. Of makeup and it's very good makeup uh, it's the when you have to dilute it with 99% rubbing alcohol it's so good <laughs> I don't know where it is I also have bottles of uh, prop blood that are really high dollar blood don't know where it is uh, I tore up my room looking for it I tore up everything storage everything looking for it cannot find it so I'm probably gonna have to order more which sucks. Uh, what I did use, I tried doing, uh, I have, you probably can't see it, it's right here on my bed. It's a Krylon, you dip your brush in water, you know, like regular face paint, and uh, it has uh, coconut oil in it. it, smells really good. And it's supposed to be good for your skin and everything, but um, I tried using that, it just didn't work like what I wanted it to, um, I just wouldn't, wouldn't work so I did do a little bit like around the eyes and stuff um, but it worked enough just for this party uh, for Halloween I do want to do a little something better um, but I think if these don't work I'm just gonna wear the Carl Kroll mask um, versus trying to do a face paint uh, which sucks but still Carl Kroll 
do want to say to wrap up the clips that you saw for the haunted house in Randallette. I know this was like a huge jump from what you just saw. Uh, that haunted house was pretty cool. What happened was uh, you you get to the firehouse. Uh, you wait around for a trailer to come pick you up. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes. You're going like 20 miles an hour, six miles. It took about roughly 20 minutes to get there. Um, and you get to this house. It's literally a house, like an old abandoned house you, that they turned into a haunted house. It was pretty cool. Uh, you walk in, you go through a few hallways. Uh, they had a scene, like a living room, where there were two girls sitting on the couch. Whenever you walk in the room, there's a Michael Myers. And then one appears in front of the group, and there's one behind and in front of the group. Uh, they drug one of the girls out, like, behind a wall. It was pretty cool. Uh, and then there was, like, a butcher room. I've never had a room where you had to walk in the room and then turn around and go the same way out. But basically what they did was, like, here, here was the room. And you walk in this way into the room, and then the wall switched. So, like, there was a wall where it funneled you this way, and then they switched it, and it funneled you back out the other way. And uh, you go into the rest of the maze. It was really cool. Uh, they did tell you the actors will touch you, and they did, man. They were, like, grabbing on your clothes, pulling you. They were trying to pull you into other rooms and stuff. It was really fun. Um, it was only 10 bucks to get in. So hey there guys, it's October 30th, 9pm at night, almost Halloween, and up until this point I have not done a thing for Halloween other than the haunted house, or the uh, the party last night, and then we went to the haunted house the other night. Um, as far as decorating, I had not done anything. I woke up at 6pm today, which was three hours ago, and I have done almost the whole display. Um... I've done a lot so uh, I'm gonna show you what I've gotten done so far uh, kind of explain what I need to do and we'll go from there so see what we did